Wow, Mirage is so done with my Vegas that they even removed it from the Facebook game. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Before we get started, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to our Patreon members for helping the channel grow. More on that later. Hey there Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here and I hope you're doing well. And more importantly, I hope you guys have picked out your My Vegas rewards for Mirage Las Vegas. Because after this next round, they are gone for good. I actually recently went to go check out the calendars for another video and while I was doing that, this is what I found. And yes, that wording is consistent across all of the other Mirage My Vegas rewards. So you better pick out your rewards and pick them fast because none of them are going to be usable after October 1st. That's right, after 10 years, Mirage is officially gone from the My Vegas catalog. And no, for those of you wondering, Ace, can I buy these rewards before September 30th and then redeem them past October? The answer is no. You can't book any rooms, tickets, or vouchers for after September 30th. That being said, I'll recommend three premium rewards that you can use for the Mirage before they leave. Two free nights. Yeah, this is a pretty easy one. I was initially struggling to find the actual days online, so you may need to call in for these. Luckily, Vegasology found the nights earlier and posted them to Reddit. I'll link the calendar in the description box down below. The lowest cash price I saw for these was around $60, so even picking the cheapest nights will save you $120. The most expensive non-weekend rate was about $399 before it flipped out and stopped loading for me. The Mirage's resort fee is about $39 before tax, so you'll be spending about $88 all in all for two nights. And that's a pretty good price for a pretty solid resort with plenty of good food and drink options. All for 150,000 loyalty points. You redeem the reward by following the link in your email after you purchase, and then you book online. Check out the card in the upper right hand corner for a brief demonstration. My next pick is gonna be two complimentary tickets to the Secret Garden. I just did a video about this place, or more specifically Siegfried and Roy. It was the good, the bad, and the ugly of the Tiger incident. If you want to go watch that out, check out the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen. If you just want to pop in and out all day and watch dolphins do flips for sushi, then stick around here. $50 in savings will only set you back 55,000 loyalty points, assuming you can get to it first. It's a popular reward, so you'll have a lot of competition if you want this freebie. This one works a lot like a show ticket, so you'll also get an emailed link to book your time in advance. Finally, my last suggestion is, as always, free play. If you're going to use the room above, you better make sure you get the My Konami Connect free play, as that's the only one that can be combined with room comps, whether they're MLife room comps or My Vegas ones. Otherwise, just get whatever free play you can afford with your My Vegas loyalty points. It's basically free money, and it saves you anywhere between $25 and $50 in betting money. Plus, you get to keep whatever you win. Be it $2 or $2,000, it doesn't matter. You can check out my example of free play winnings at the Mirage's sister property, the Luxor, by clicking the card in the upper right hand corner. Now, the other rewards are still worth having a look at even if they aren't spectacular. I've personally gotten a lot of use out of the cocktail rewards, um, mostly because there just wasn't a lot to do back in the fall of 2022, and also just because it's a really convenient sort of thing and it doesn't cost a lot of loyalty points. So if nothing else, two for one cocktails are non-premium rewards that are good extras to add on for just a couple thousand more points. Remember, you're set through September 30th, and after that, the Mirage is done with My Vegas. Tragic, I know, but hopefully this means that My Vegas is making progress in integrating other popular Las Vegas Strip properties, specifically the Cosmo, into their reward system. Hopefully that'll be a video for another day real soon. Alright Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's guide and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Before I go, I just wanted to take a moment to shout out our patrons. Guys, it means the world to me that you choose to support me in this way and help keep Ace of Vegas independent of the YouTube algorithm. 
As you know, my content isn't always censor and advertiser friendly, so it goes a long way in keeping the channel running. If you want a more direct hand in keeping Ace of Vegas growing, I'll leave a link to the Patreon in the description box down below. In the meantime, how do you feel about Mirage leaving my Vegas and MGM Rewards? Are you excited for Cosmo, or would you rather have MGM and Mirage cut a deal to keep them on my Vegas? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spinning you guys. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva.